What's up detailing followers? I am gonna do another detail spray review here. I just linked up with NextGen yesterday and they gave me some products to try out. So I have their quick detail spray, which we just washed this Range Rover. So I'm gonna give it a wipe down with this to ensure there's no streaks left over from the wash. Um, you're not gonna see me actually spray it from this bottle because I do not have a sprayer for it. So I'm gonna use this old, used to be some other product bottle uh, that I cleaned up. Uh, so basically this would just be for after a wash. Uh, you don't want to use this on a dirty surface. This is not meant to just like spray and wipe dust off your car as uh, most, you shouldn't do that with any quick detailer really. Um, you want to make sure the surface is cool to the touch so you're not out in the sun. Shake it real nice before you use it. And uh, then you kind of just want to lightly mist it onto the car. Uh, or you can spray it onto a towel and wipe it on. We'll do both and see what works the best. So I'm gonna transfer this into this other ball just so you guys can kind of see. This is the product. Am I getting it? Yes. It's pink and crazy colors. And then I almost just spilled. I would think that that tiny bottle uh, is probably three or four cars worth if you were using sparingly. So just so we can again demonstrate both methods for application, I've got a big drying towel uh, that I buy from finelap.com and a couple of these blue fluffy towels you can get from detailing.com. So I'm going to start with just spraying the hood directly and then wiping it with this and see how easily it goes on and off. Wipes on pretty easily. And I see no streaking, so that's a good thing. A lot of the random detail sprays that I've tried over the years uh, tend to leave streaks behind, especially. You know, if it's like a new company or something, but uh, this company has been around for a while, I believe under a different name before, uh, and now they're at next gen. And they have a pretty cool line of ceramic sprays and ceramic soaps and all that stuff. Front's been done, just spraying it like that. Now I'm going to grab my other towels and I'm going to see how many sprays to a towel to do a whole panel if it's any easier to wipe on and off. So we'll go over to the front door here on the passenger side. I'm going to start five spritzes on this. I'm 
using the dry side of this towel to wipe it off. And I'm gonna do a secondary wipe with this towel that didn't have any product on it. Uh, there's five spritzes I just did on that towel. Covered this whole door. It leaves it feeling just like the front. It's really slick, no streaks. So obviously, uh, and then that used way less product. So maybe for the rest of the car, so that I can save up, save some of this product so far I'm liking it. Just gonna spray this towel and apply directly. So since this towel's already got some product on it, I'm only gonna add which side is that product on it? I have no idea. I'm not here I'm gonna add like three more sprays. And for anyone who's been watching my channel, if you recognize this driveway, it's because this is the owner of the M5. Uh, I did the review on uh, Shine Supply Ride Shine on a little while ago, probably about two weeks or so before all the rain over here happened. He's got a lot of nice cars, two BMWs, a Range Rover, and a Porsche Cayenne which I will be uh, correcting and coding in self fuel light sometime next week. I'm generally very skeptical when it comes to like random ceramic sprays and stuff like that because uh, as we all know a lot of detailing products are kind of the same made in the same factories and you know tweaked for likes and dislikes of whoever is trying to sell the product but I'm actually very impressed with these over this one and then yesterday we were doing a video shoot uh, to showcase their ceramic soap so at some point I'll probably put that video up here uh, when their camera crew sends it to me This is, so far, I'd say definitely a product that I would recommend. It's got one of those cool uh, electronic license plates. I thought that would like drain the battery, but I guess not. So now this towel is like fairly saturated from having been sprayed. So we're gonna just add like two more sprays on here that we're not overloading the product. So, hey, do you have that um, M5 piece? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. saturated to do a wipe with Those of you that don't know, that's Hayden over there cleaning the wheel. He's my new part-time apprentice. So I will be teaching him all of the detailing ropes as we go. And hopefully eventually he'll be a full-time
thing you can do is just kind of give like the door like a one spritz down the middle and then work with the product and spread it out. Uh, that can also help to reduce use of the product and also ensure that you get full coverage kind of like when you do like a cross hatch when you're applying a regular coating so that makes sure everything covered. appears to work quite well on all this plastic trim and uh, I want to say that these little vent things are matte pink but not 100% sure. So I'd say this car looks pretty good. I'm not going to embarrass myself on camera trying to climb up to do the roof. But here is the final result. It's got some pretty nice reflection. So overall, I would say that is definitely a quick detail spray to add to your product arsenal. And again, that is the next gen quick detail spray. You can order it online, check them out on Instagram. Uh, if you just happen to stumble across this video online, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of Dave's detailing. And uh, we'll see you next time.